What is good, you guys? Welcome back to the Heat Report. Welcome back to the reaction slash the analysis of Miami Heat's game one loss against the Milwaukee Bucks. Just ended, and um, yeah, I'm here to tell you guys three things why the Miami Heat lost game one and how they can be better for game two and the future games going forward in this particular series. First of all, what a game it was. You know, um, great shot by Chris Middleton to win the Bucks the game. You know, amazing shot by him. Um, it, it was it was an ugly game to watch, but it was a very good game, you know, down the stretch. A very fun defensive game. If you're, if you're into defense, this was the game for you because everyone was playing defense today. Um, yeah, great game. Um, what, what a game from the Bucks. What a game from the Heat. But um, when we're talking about why the Miami Heat lost this game, obviously they did lose by two in overtime. Um, the number one reason is that the Stars did not shine. Jimmy and Bam both did not have good games whatsoever. I know Jimmy hit the shot to send it to overtime, but he still did not have a good game. Bam had a, had a terrible game on the offensive end. I thought defensively, though, he did a great job on Giannis, but it's just offensively, he could have been a lot, lot better. Um, Jimmy, you know, I thought defensively, again, same thing. He was, he was good, but offensively, has to, has to, has to be better. 17 points for our best player is not going to cut it. Um, the only reason we were in this game was because of Robinson and Goran. Um, Robinson, Dragic, and uh, even Ariza. I thought Ariza played pretty well, but it was mainly those two that really kept us afloat. Um, so when you're looking at it this way, you could say you're not worried because you think Jimmy and Bam will bounce back, which they will. I'm not worried about that. But on the other on the other side, if you flip um, to the Bucks, they are not going to shoot 16% from three again. No way. So we are going to have to close out a lot better on their shooters going forward. I, th I think we did pretty well on defense. Um, we played Giannis especially well. I just on offense, you couldn't really get anything going. But the Bucks will knock down some of those threes that they got. So we have to be alerted about it. Um, yeah, man, it was it was a it was it's a heartbreaking game. Tough, tough one to swallow because I thought we could have won this game. We could have stolen it. Um, we just we just got um outclassed at the end i guess you know a lot some questionable calls like that Giannis one that was not that was not a free throw that was he, he traveled on that one where he got the offensive rebound no way um and i'm kind of wondering why when the shot went in it was at it was at uh 0.9 i don't know why they reduced it to 0.5 when chris middleton hit that shot so that was kind of surprising to me so yeah, some some questionable calls, but still we did lose this game, so we got to own it. Um, if there's one team that I'm confident that can come back against the Bucks, it's us though. I think we played pretty well on the defensive end. I just thought on the offensive end we we were terrible. And for us to only lose that game by two when we weren't really getting anything going, besides Duncan Robinson hitting some threes and Dragic doing what playoff Dragic does, we didn't really get anything going. So yeah, I'm assume. Uh, I'm assuming that Jimmy is going to come out really, really aggressive because he has to. You know, we're down a game right now. If we can steal one in game two, then we go back to the crib, you know, three, four in Miami. If we play, if we, if we, if we play well, we could win both of them there. We could beat up three, one. So the series is not over by any means, but it was just a good, it was just a good preview of what's soon to come on um, Bam though. Bam has to be better. Bam really has to be better. Uh, yeah, it's, it's unacceptable. Like I said. In my in my three previews, especially my offensive preview and my um, the last preview that I did, there is no way when Brook Lopez is giving you that shot, that mid range jumper that you have that you that you need to pass it up. Bam has to take that. You know, it's given to him. He's getting that. He's he is he could have he could have had like 20 points tonight if he effectively used his brain and shot the mid range shot instead of you know looking for a dribble handoff. Or there was one play where. He was wide open in the mid-range area, and he drove it to the uh, to, to the to the rim. And Brook Lopez was right in front of him. He kind of just he 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 just drove it right at Brook Lopez, and Brook Lopez got to stop. So there is no way that should happen. Bam has to be better. Um, and the second reason the bench, you know, Tyler did not show up. I thought Goran was the only guy off the bench again that really was um, great on the offensive end. Tyler needs to do better. He has to do better. You know. Especially if Jimmy and Bam, one of them is struggling. We need Tyler. We need Tyler's energy. We need Tyler's, you know, shot making ability. We 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 need that to be on full display in these in these next few games. 
Um, the last reason is that the shot selection down the stretch was very, very questionable. A lot of pull up threes in transition by our worst three point shooter in our starting lineup, Jimmy Butler, besides Bam. Like, why is he doing that? Why is he shooting pull up threes or that? That like, like I said, you know, you cannot, you cannot be doing that. You have to be smarter with the ball. You know, early shot clock pull up threes will not cut it whatsoever. So we have to be way smarter in that department. Shot selection has to be a lot better. I don't know why we didn't call timeout when Jimmy was clearly struggling um, at the, down the stretch. He was, he was, uh, I think Giannis had cut him off or something, and he it was it became a jump ball with Dragic and Middleton. Spoke could have used the timeout. I just don't know why he didn't. Um, he had two timeouts remaining, so that was kind of that was kind of uh, was questionable for me. I don't know why he didn't use the timeout. A lot of things that didn't go our way this game, though. You know, I thought we overall defended very well, but our offense was very lackluster. I do think we'll pick it back up, though. I'm not worried. No one should be panicking. I mean, we're right there with them. You know, like it's it's it's, not, it's nothing to be worried about. Our two best players played terribly, and we only lost by two in overtime. But like I said, on the flip side. I don't think they're shooting 16% from three again. So we're going to have to have those two step back up and we have to close out harder on their shooters because, you know, they can make us pay from downtown. They have shooters on their team. And uh, I thought we did a great job on Giannis, though. I know he had like, what is it, 26, 28 points, but we made him work for a lot of his uh, shots. He, he kind of sold down the stretch for them, missed a lot of free throws. Like I'm saying, man, if you cannot, if you cannot, uh, if you want to stop the two from Giannis, then the best thing is to put him on the line. If you cannot get the steal, if you cannot get the stop, rather than giving up a two or anything like that around the basket, put him on the line and make him earn it because he's not a great free throw shooter whatsoever. I do not trust his mechanics in the playoffs. All his threes he missed, all his mid-range jump shots he missed. There is no way that Giannis Antetokounmpo is going to beat us from range. You know, he's going to have to get put on the line. You know, we got, we got to... You gotta put him on the line if he's, you know, in position to score. That's the that's the way we can slow him down, along with building that wall. Drew Holiday was a big, big X factor for them. He showed up on the defensive end. Um, Jimmy is going to have to be better. Bam is going to have to be better. It just comes out to those two things, and we're gonna need a little bit more from Tyler. Um, and I think we'll be okay in this series. I think I think there's no reason to panic. It was just a great game um, overall from the Bucks. I thought they played really well. Uh, they did everything well besides shoot the three and. They probably will shoot the three well next game. Um, so we're going to have to be prepared for that. Shout out to Duncan, though. Duncan was our player of the game. He did an amazing job, Duncan Robinson. And yeah, Chris Middleton made a tough shot, but hats off to Chris Middleton and hats off to the Bucks for winning game one. But this series is by no means over. We, we're, we're right there with them. And um, I'm still confident we can pull this one out. I'm, I'm, I'm still very confident. Um, it's going to take, you know, one of those two stars and even, bo even both of those two stars to have above average games. And we should be okay. Uh, so, yeah, there should be no panic in the camp right now, in the heat camp. We should be right there. We're, we're, like I said, we're right there with them. We should be fine for game two uh, two through whatever, six or five or whatever. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be all right, man. Just no, no reason to panic. But like I said, Tyler has to step up. Shot selection has to be better. And most importantly, Jimmy and Bam have to be a lot better than what they were on the offensive end. And I think they will be. I think we'll win game two. But um hopefully you know we'll see what happens in game two you know i hope i hope we win um but you know you never know you know uh, with the bucks they could just come out really hot from three uh we're gonna have to do everything we can you know the bucks i think needed this win more than we did because it would hurt their confidence if they lost i think we we are able to bounce back and i think we will bounce back so no reason to panic here um no reason to panic for you guys too i think we played uh, not that great and we still only lost by two so I think that's a good sign that we can keep up with them um, we were still right there even though Jimmy and Bam had terrible games so yeah we're good um, hopefully we win game two though and yeah I'll see you guys later with my reaction for game two um, enjoy game two I'll see y'all later as always man peace